And welcome, we are here at Summit Point Raceway. Boy, this is going to be a trip. The fast car has decided to go right. <laughs> yeah, you heard me. They decided to go right. Yeah, we go. This is going to be a trip. We're going to find out what's going on here. So, they are having a little bit of a pit meeting here. And there's a little bit of a scenic route. And there's the pits. So, about uh, three minutes left to practice and I'm going to try to get a ride along with somebody but I'm not going to promise. Uh, some of these guys is pretty new to the road course. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be interesting. Uh, what I understand uh, is full course caution. So, and I'll tell you what we'll find out more about we'll find out more about everything that's going on right after this break and we'll be right back you're watching fast car racing on mirror racing tv brought to you by simple man game calls Sponsor of the Fast Car Late Model Sportsman Series. And by Sim Speed News. Sponsor of the Fast Car Super Late Model Series. On Mir Racing TV. And we're back. And. I posted a little too loud, but uh, that's okay. No biggie. And let's see here. Get that right there, took care of. And let's see if we can dig up a little bit of info here. Ah, uh, Summit Point was built in 69. Summit Point Motorsports Park. Then Summit Point's Raceway opened up in 69. So this is a pretty old track here. Uh, Paul Newman ran several several of his early races there in a Bob Sharp uh, Datsun 510 sedan. And let's look and see who is out here practicing. Apparently, pit meeting is over. And there is Mike Fortier. And he is carrying a new sponsor. And let's see. This track has 10 turns. The majority of them is right turns. <laughs> There is three turns that is to the left, and that's what these guys are used to. So uh, I believe they can handle it. A good group of guys, good group of drivers. I believe they can handle it. Summit Point, Maine is a...
and we are here qualifying with open qualifying and sorry about the little bit of silence I had a few things to tie up and do there's Darren Clark with be easier if I get my little info tab on here there we go Hey, is Hilton Young. And, uh, that right there in the grass he is Terry Bates. And he's in the gravel again. <laughs> That's all right, though. He, he give us a shot at this. There goes my 40 or spinning her around. Tyler Devo. I have a new paint job on there. Uh, I didn't quite see the name of it. There's Mike Holt's call. He's got a pretty cool sponsor on his car. It's a uh, media outlet for basically any kind of racing you want to know of. It's Open Road, Open Pit Road. Yeah. OPR, uh, OpenPitRoad.com. And check that out. It's a, like I said, if you need to know any news or you want to see any photos or anything like that of any of the NASCAR stuff or dirt stuff, it don't matter. Uh, they got it covered. And there's Darren Clark with the Simple Man Game Calls car. Or actually, he is running the Simple Man's One Shot Camo car. That is his camo on that car. And when I say that is his camo on that car, I mean that that is his pattern. He is the one that came up with that pattern. Right now, Chad Heath is leading with a minute 15 in that Sin Speed News fast car. Car. <laughs> I really got to talk to him about that green number. His super late model's got a like a grayish, silverish number on there. It looks way better. And I don't know exactly how long qualifying is gonna be. I think we got like 19 minutes left to qualify. Ooh, it looked like he just toted his left front right there coming off that corner. And there's the 52 car right in front of Chad. Chad will go around him on the inside. Or we road course racing, I believe that would be the right side. <laughs> and you're going to have to bear with me for... <coughs> Excuse me. You're going to have to bear with me for just a little bit. I am not a road racer. I don't really understand a lot of the terminology of the road course so you just got to bear with me a little bit but that is Jeremy Torment in the 52 8 shift car and looks like 
Adam Rawls is not in here right now. And I'm trying to figure out the best angle for the race. This is my first road course ever of trying to the stream here. Whoa. And Mike Fortier is off in the sand trap. He's out there playing in the sandbox. Supposed to be on the track, man. <laughs> and there's Terry Bates building a sand castle. And that was in turn five, actually. And you yeah, asked so much, you got to bear with me. I'm trying to learn which turns is which. And we're going to follow Terry Bates around here. And that's turn one. And turn two. This is turn three. And he's going for turn four and five is right there in front of you. And there's Hilton right in front of him, and that is turn six. I mean, that's here comes turn nine. I'm a little bit behind time, <laughs> and here we go. This little straightaway right here. It's got a little whoop you do with a corner in it, a little like a little slight turn. And turn 10, and you will be coming back to the stripe. And this straightaway is 2,900 foot long. So it's a good long straightaway. And that's the best I can get right now to a... To a... Whoa. That's the best I can get to a ride along right now. That is Hilton Young. I'm just playing with a few camera angles here. There, Mike Forty are kicking up a little bit of dust. And we are riding along with Chad Heath right now. And a lot of these guys is rookies in road course. Just, there's a lot of rookies here because these guys are over guys. And he's trying to get around mine. I think he will have done it straight away here. Long straight away. He's got the inside of him. Oh, there go Mike. Mike Fortier spinning around in turn one. And it looks 
why Tyler's blowing up a little dust. And I'm still trying to figure out what's the best camera angle here. Like he still have about 14 minutes left of qualifying. Chad Heath is still leading it with a minute 15. Uh, looks like Tyler Devo is in second position, and Darren Clark is in third as of right now. Riding on board with Devo. Boy, he really gets a jump on Chad Heath right there in that corner. Oh, he's going to try him on us. Oh, he gives it a little bump. And he's trying his best to get up right through it. Looks like Terry Bates is running fourth right now. We have Mike Hostfall in fifth. Mike Fortier is in sixth. And Jeremy Torman is in seventh. Oh, and Darren Clark, he just moved himself up into second place. And out in the gravel he goes. I think he did it on purpose, actually. He is a rookie with a 2.66. Terry Bates. He is a rookie with a 2.50. Tyler is a rookie with a... 2.77 Oh, uh, that's me. <laughs> uh, Mike Holtzclaw is a rookie with a 2.50 and I don't think Adam Ross is in here. Mike is a rookie with a 2. Point. Mike Fortier is a rookie with 2.50 and so is Jeremy Torman. Ah, oh, Helton Young is a Class D with a 2.46. And Chad Heath is a rookie with a 2.65. Yeah, we got a field full of rookies. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> but these guys are a, a really good drivers. They really courteous to each other. You know, they understand who they're racing around, so I think it's going to be a good race. And if I'm not mistaken, Tyler here, he he runs uh, the shifter carts on road courses, if I understood it right. Well, he might be one to be watching.
It looked like he almost locked up that front wheel. And around the little carousel that they have here. And I am looking. I still can't find the right camera angle that I want. That's irritating. Anyway, we're going to get it done, though. And while we're waiting on qualifying, let's, uh, let's take a quick break. And we'll be right back. And we're back from a real fast break. I told you it'd be quick. <laughs> yeah, let's see. And we are still following Tyler here. There's Chad Heath. Oh, Tyler Devo has turned a 114, which will put him in first place. Oh, these top three guys are really getting accurate. And I bet you Chad Heath is giving it all he's got to get that top spot. He was really wanting to outrun Tyler really, really bad. third place guy right there Darren Clark and off in a little bit of gravel there I don't know if that lap a count or not his best lap was a 115 564 Chad Heath's best time was uh, 115 016 but the pole man is a one fourteen six five eight. Now, what is his lap right now? Oh, he just picked it up a little bit. Woo! A one fourteen five four zero. Yeah, I think it's safe to say he's going to be sitting on pole. Whoa, and there goes Torman. And from our fast car, Mirror Racing TV blimp. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. <laughs> and you can see a perfect shot of the carousel. And he is 
coming around uh he is coming around to, to, ah he got a little loose right there uh coming off a of ten turn ten And he's just going to pull off the little runoff right there. And there comes Chad Heath off of turn 10. see pit lane right there and there's the entrance of pit lane oh Tyler's in the pits right now he might be getting a sip of Gatorade <laughs> Uh, so is Mike Fortier. There's Mike Holtz ball. We got two Mikes in here tonight. And he is currently sitting fifth right now. And his quickest time was a 117.096. Looks like we're down to about three minutes to go. And his lap was a 117.704 was his last lap. Back on Terry Bates, yeah, driving uh, out of the Carolina Club. And there he comes out of turn ten in that grass. Whoa, in the inside wall. Hey, you better be careful not to do that in race. He might be in trouble because the front of that thing is flat. <laughs> and it looks like we're down to two minutes. And there, Clark's got a little bit of a blinking issue, which I uh, hope my thing here does not go out because we got a pretty good storm coming through. And that is my brother there, and he lives just right down the street. So that could be playing a factor there too. Right now, he's sitting in a pretty good spot. He's in third place right now. Whoa, you got a little loser. And that lap may not count. there 
just hit full gear. Oh, and he... I was going to ride along with him a little bit, but he's going to pull off. Man, it looks like we got like one minute left. And I think everybody's going to finally give it up. Still got old Heath out here. And there we go. And I think we're getting ready for the fast cars. Simple Mad Game Calls Late Model Sportsman Series. And I probably should have put that up there. but And then again, I may not have it. Okay. And let's see what let's go to pit lane. See what is going on. He's up here. Let's see if we can get a quick interview. Well, wait a minute. They may be going over some rules and stuff real quick. And here we go. We are advanced. And There we go, we are advancing to the 25 lap race here, I believe is what it is. And like I said earlier on, I apologize for my miscommunication here a little bit. Uh, road courses is, <laughs> I'm still learning a lot of things. Uh, streaming this stuff and road courses is something very very new to me it looks like they got the command to fire them up and Tyler Levo will take the pole Let's see if we can get uh, an interview with him, if any way possible. Let's see. No need to. Well, <laughs> we'll catch it right in a minute. Dollar Devo, you got a copy? Go ahead, Dave. Tyler Devo, got a copy? Yep. Well, man, looks like you earned the top spot tonight with a minute 14. Uh, how you feel about that? Feeling pretty good. I was not expecting to run that fast, but I finally had some luck there. 
Well, man, good luck to you on that. Uh, I think you're going to do pretty good tonight. And good luck to you. Thank you. And that was Tyler Devo, Andy Five, and everybody knows I call him Devo because I can't pronounce his last name, which some people is very easy to do, some people not so. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to get this show on the road anyway. If I can get my little gizmos back up and everything. And... I will tell you this, it is hard to get things going on the road course on a rolling start. But anyway, he has Tyler on the pole. Chad East in the 80. So, uh, since Speed News fast car uh, on the second, uh, second position, I guess you could say. And Darren Clark in the 20 Simple Man's one shot camo. We'll be in the third position. And Terry Bates in the Bass Pro Shop car will be in fourth place. Terry, uh, excuse me, Mike Hosclaw in the 22 will be in the uh, fifth spot. He's running that BG Products, I think that's what it is. And the OPR, which is on pitroad.com. And we got Mike Fortier starting sixth position. And I can't really see his sponsor right this moment. He told me earlier what it was, and I don't forgot. I apologize for that. But anyway, he is in his sixth position with. With Hilton Young, Hilton Young, and the 60 car will be seventh. And Jeremy Torman will start sixth position. I mean, uh, eighth position. My bad. <laughs> and let's go back up to the front and see if we figure out a good angle to see the start of the race. Coming down to the line. See the pace cars already off. And they are off with the fast cars. The Simple Man Game Calls. They call the Sportsman Series. Yeah, it looks like Tyler got a little bit of a jump. Uh, Darren Clark will clear Terry Bates in the back back there. And Tyler has the preferred line in this corner. And Chad Heath will fall in behind him. And you can see it right there. Chad Heath is right behind him. Picking up that front wheel. And he has pulled up uh, just a little bit. There's Chad Heath. Darren Clark is looking on Chad Heath, but Terry Bates is looking on Darren Clark. Ah, I got a chain reaction thing going on here. And Mike Fortier swung it just a little bit wide back there. It takes a long time to get around that joint. <laughs> yeah. There's Mike Holtz ball. Yeah, right in front of Mike Fortier. Got the two Mikes running together. Back here. 
like Hilton Young, he just fell back. I'm not sure what happened there. That's okay, though. It's a road course. Anything can happen. And looks like uh, Jeremy Torben stirred up a little bit of this. And he is off in the gravel pit. And honestly, it looks like his nose is a little bashed in. It is. He's got some front end damage. So apparently he hit something. And they are get, starting to get spreaded out here. Top four, five, six. The top six is a little spreaded out, but you can still see them in one frame down that long front straightaway. Whoa, I seen dust. Uh, Mike Holtz Paul, I seen a little dust come off of. Like I said, this is a this is a trip for these guys. They <laughs> I might need to move that up just a little bit. I hope that come out right. And as we go through the S's, coming off that carousel. So far, Tyler Devo has got a two-second lead. But Chad Heath is gaining on him a little bit coming down the long front straightaway as they go into turn one. And only four laps down, so they still got a long ways to go. And Chad Heath has blinked 15 times already. He might be having a little bit of connection issues. I hate to see that because he's running second place right now. He's doing really good. Terry Bates and at Mass Pro Shop number three. And that is fourth position right now. Mike Holtzclaw, he is in fifth position. And he's going into turn one. And 
Mike Fortier is in the seventh, sixth position. Yeah, I got it right. <laughs> sixth position. Going to that little bit of a hairpin coming into the care cell. That care cell is a little bit tricky. It'll get into the front part of it. It wants to push you all the way out to the edge edge of the grass but then all of a sudden it'll dart right back down to the bottom again and tonight I believe these guys is on full fuel 100% fuel load and I don't think I don't think they are gonna have to pit but I'm not 100% sure on that Is Hilton Young in the 60 car? He is running seventh right now. running in eighth place we got the 52 of Jeremy Torman and off in the grass sure don't need a lawnmower in that area <laughs> I'm not picking on you Jeremy <laughs> let's go back up here to the front with Tyler uh, his fastest time in the race is a minute 15, 616. I came in on lap two. And he is still leading the way. Matter of fact, he is fixing to start looking to lap a few guys. Foreman is only a few corners in front of him. down on lap nine. And while he's catching torment uh, we're going to drive back and see what Chad Heath is doing here. He is three and a half seconds roughly behind behind Tyler. Roughly eight to nine seconds behind Chad Heath. These guys are really doing a good job, though. I mean, really good. Yeah, Chad Bates is. Oh, that's behind the leader. I'm reading that wrong. He is 22 seconds behind the leader. I mean, Darren Clark is 17 seconds behind the leader. Oh, okay. That's my bad. I was reading that a little bit wrong. And right now, they pretty much running just like he qualified, so... Mike 40 in that 51 car. 
I am trying for the life of me to remember what he told me his sponsor was tonight, and I cannot remember. It's, it's something like an old western, old time western show uh, out of Virginia. And Mike eats a little gravel coming off that corner. Tyler has done commenced to lapping. And I do think, yeah, Jeremy Torman is, he is out of the running. I've got 11 laps down. Are they working on the lip lap? And he has got that car dialed in. He is on the rail right now. He is running very, very consistent lap times. Oh, Chad, he gets a little bit loose in turn one. Yeah, we'll go check out the copter cam here. Or chopper cam, shall I say. There's a lot of other angles that I could use, but I like using like real life uh, camera angles. I don't like, you know, just getting on side of the car and just riding down with it. I don't care for that kind of camera angles too much. Still running third place is Darren Clark. Coming under a little bridge there. Picking up a little dust behind him. Ah, he's used to that. He dirt tracker anyway. <laughs> yeah, he's used to a little bit of dust. And it, Darren has never drove very much on road courses, but he is. You wouldn't be able to tell that right now. He's doing an excellent job. Next on the list is Mike Fortier for Tyler to be chasing down. 
And we are halfway, folks. And not a single caution yet. That's just awesome. is going to the hairpin right now and Tyler is coming in to turn three so it won't be very much and he will be oh Hilton Young off in the grass and then and is that and that's Mike Fortier off in the grass whoa And they get things straightened out, ready to go. I'm not sure what happened there, but they was doing a little lawnmower theirself. Doing a little bit of weed whacking. And they have 11 to go. And you can see Tyler Devo, he is right behind them. That little mishap really let him close up on them. Gyro. Never been on the gyro camera on the road course. Whoa, there's Hilton Young right in front of Tyler. And on the outside he goes, and Hilton, he backs off and lets him go. That's a real smart thing to do. And Tyler is just, he is hauling it. And he has got almost eight, over eight second lead on Chad Heath. And there he is. Hilton Young coming in the pits. And they got nine to go. There's Darren Clark headed to turn 10. got that turn figured out. Man, Tyler is chasing down Mike Fortier. He took him just a quick pit stop. He back out rolling again. And Tyler Devo is looking to put a lap on Mike Fortier. Looking to make a move in turn three, and he does. 
Mike Fortier gets off in the gravel. But he comes right back on. Didn't lose too much. And the next on Tyler's list will be Mike Holtzball. Which he is on the front straightaway, so Tyler's got a little ways to go before he gets the heel. I don't think he'll... If nothing happens to Holtzball, I don't think Tyler can get to him. his lap right then uh, 117.497 and here goes Chad he Looking to put a lap down on Mike Fortier. <laughs> kind of funny, to, uh, they're kind of teammates in this league here. Um, actually, they're kind of. Chad Heath is a founder of the Fast Car League, Fast Car Sim Racing League. And uh, Mike Fortier, the co-founder of the Fast Car Sim Racing League. And it's kind of funny seeing them race against each other like this. <laughs> if anybody's interested in joining Fast Car, uh, get up with that man right there, or Chad Heath or Mike Fortier. And they will point you in the right direction of what you can do and where you need to go and what you need to do to get out here and trade paint with these boys. Darius getting a little bit loose getting into turn one. And they are down to six to go. Bates we're watching right now and oh off in the gravel he goes I guess he wanted to build a few sand castle there too <laughs> there comes Mike Holtz claw out of the carousel into the S's Tyler is still showing the way. Nothing happens to him. He nine out of ten. He will lead it, lead it, flag to flag. Folks, you want to see domination? Well, this right here is domination. Got a little bit of a storm going here, and I just seen a few lights going to flicker a little bit.
Man, they got a, oh, he is off in the gravel, but he is good to go. Not a good idea to dirty up some tires there a little bit. Get some gravel on them sticky tires and it sure won't be fun in the next corner. Chad Heath coming out of the S is headed towards turn 10. We are down to three to go. And if Darren don't mess up, he, if nothing happens with him, he's got his third place locked up. Said, he's not a road course guy, so he's doing a really good job right now. And there's Terry Bates, and oh, Hilton gets off on the grass just a little bit, but he got it back together, up. And there comes, he's gonna let Terry Hill. I'm, <laughs> I get the name straight in a minute. Uh, he'll let Terry Bates get on by with no problems with ease. Mike Holtz Paul. Uh, they are down to the last lap. I did think he would have time to catch him. And then he probably don't have time to catch him all the way, but I guarantee he can see it through his window there. Yes, he can. I think he's pretty much babying it right now. I mean, he knows he's got it locked up. He's 10 seconds in front of Chad Heath. So, there's no pressure on him whatsoever. And here comes Tyler Devo down the stretch, crossing the line in first place. He will win. The fast car. Simple Man Game calls a late model sportsman series at Summit Point. And here comes Chad Heath in the 80 car to take second position. 
And here comes Darren Clark headed down to turn 10. All he's got to do is make one more turn and he will take third position. And he will take third position and here comes Terry. Terry Bates around turn 10. And that will be his last time around turn 10. And he will come to the stripe in fourth position. And Mike Holtzclaw, here he comes. He is also headed to turn 10. And he is in fifth position right now. And he will cross the stripe in fifth position. And Mike Fortier. All oh, fender gravel. And he's in uh, sixth position. And all he's got to do is cross the stripe. And I think he will be all right. Which, well, he's a lap down. So he possibly already crossed the stripe. And he did. And there is Tyler just going to town blowing smoke. And let's see if we can get an interview with uh, Darren Clark. The tower right up there. I always hit it the wrong time. And let's see what they're trying to do here. And let's go to this angle. Here we go. Well, we can kind of see it. Oh. Darren Clark, got a copy? Yeah, man. Well, you made a really nice, smooth run tonight. And uh, I know you're not a road course guy. Uh, can you walk us through you tonight, tonight? Well, basically from the start, I just figured I didn't have anything for the first two guys. So I was just going to race as this third was my first, so to speak. So just got there and there and tried to save everything and tried to stay between the ditches. That's about the only way you can be, ain't it? Uh, is anybody you want to thank? One shot camo, simple man game calls and language. Uh, Chad Knight for the league, and just everybody's part of this. Uh, Mirror Racing TV, Mirror Paint. Uh, I think I got all of them, but yeah, it's fun time, especially for an old dirt track guy like me. I hear you, man. Congratulations on the third place finish. Thank you, man. Chad Heath, got a copy? Yeah, I got you, brother. Well, man, it looked like you was trying your heart out to catch Tyler. Uh, what was you thinking when he started pulling away from you? I was thinking I didn't know what else I could do. Kind of started out the race. I don't know what was going on. I clicked on something when we tried to do that start there. And uh, I couldn't. I didn't have no push to talk. And, but... That didn't really affect the race. Um, he was just fast. He found I was fast in practice, and he found something at the end of qualifying there, and I just couldn't. Hats off to him, man. He did a good job. Well, you did a good job yourself coming in in second place. Uh, anybody you want to thank? Yeah, I'd just like to thank uh, Mike, yourself, uh, Simple Man Game Calls, Tim Speed News. Um, I think Darren got about everything there. So, uh, that's about it. All right. Hey, congratulations on second place. Thanks. I'll take it. 
get my points. <laughs> Tyler Devo, you got a copy? Yeah, I got you. Man, if anybody wants to see domination, that was domination. How do you feel about it? I feel pretty good, you know. In practice, I was pretty slow. Chad was really fast in that. Also, Darren was. And then, you know, like Chad was saying, I found something. I'm not sure what it was, but the line that I found seemed to work. So it all worked out in the end. Well, you did a great job. Is anybody you want to fight? Yeah, Chad, Mike, Mirror Racing TV, Simple Man Game Calls, and Team Speed News. Uh, this has probably been the best league that I've been in. So it's fun racing with a bunch of guys like this because they're fun to race with. I hear you, man, and congratulations on the win. Appreciate it. And there you go. That is the summary of the 25 lappers ads summit point with the fast cars, simple man game calls, late model sportsman series. And uh, let's see here. Let me try to pull up a. Uh, Well, I think I can do it. <laughs> there we go. And there's a summary of uh, first place is Tyler. With second place, Chad Heath. Now, third place will be Darren Clark. Fourth place, Ty Terry Bates. Fifth place, Mike Holtzclaw. And sixth place, Mike Fortier. And there's your top six right there. And... I think that about do it, and yeah, <laughs> and like I said, this was a this was something different to broadcast a road course. It's the first time I've ever done it, and I will get better and learn the term terminology of it and everything. And and that'll do it for me, Racing TV, and I'm here at Southern Point Raceway, and. We are out.